from the Fight Now TV studio, it's time for your News Hits. What's up, Fight fans? I'm Bruce Trong, right into the cage where it's Fight Week yet again for the UFC. The conference call going down today in advance of Saturday's UFC 159 event. Light heavyweight champion John Jones defends his title against the always entertaining Chael Sonnen. Now, a much different tone to Sonnen in the buildup to this fight compared to Sonnen versus Silva. Here's Chael on this title fight against Jones. He's the world champion. He's the best in the weight class, and, and he's the best the weight class has ever seen. So if you're asking me if I feel pressure, yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Look, look. I don't earn title shots. Title shots earn me. I, I don't go after main events. Main events come after me, uh, and that's it. And whether I, I earned it or not or, or, or deserve it, I, I'm a Republican. I don't talk in those terms. I take what I want, and that's it. With less than one week to go to that event, Eric Perez has been forced to withdraw from his bantamweight bout against Johnny Bedford due to a leg infection. And just like that, the UFC has found a replacement. Brian Caraway is back for his second fight in less than two months. Caraway looks to bounce back from a split decision loss to Takeya Mitsugaki with no time to prepare against Bedford, who is riding a three-fight win streak. Meantime, rewind back to this weekend where Benson Henderson edged Gilbert Melendez with a split decision win. Though the judges' opinions are the only ones that ultimately matter, pundits are split down the middle on their scorecards. One thing's for sure, Henderson and Melendez will likely cross paths again in the future. You know, I knew I had the first two rounds, in my opinion, the first two, and I thought I was doing good the third. I let, let off when he got the takedown, maybe, and that's my own fault. And then, um, but I totally felt like uh, I turned it up in the fifth, and, um, you know, I thought I won that. Do I imagine I will be seeing Gil again? Yeah, I'll be seeing Gil again. He's going he's gonna to want to beat the crap out of me, so I'll be seeing Gil again. I don't know if it'll be an immediate rematch. If it is, it is. Cool. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Now, an immediate rematch would make sense, but the UFC has elected to keep the 155-pound division moving. And a lightweight matchup at UFC 160 on May 25th will decide Henderson's next challenger. UFC announcing that either Gray Maynard or TJ Grant will become the next number one contender. Maynard hasn't fought since a split decision win over Clay Guida in June of last year. And meantime, Grant has won four in a row at lightweight. And the promotion continues to pump out another event in April. The main card will see several heavy-hitting matchups, including Michael Bisping's showdown against Alan Belcher. And here's a look at the preliminary card. UFC 159 goes down Saturday at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And we have some exciting new content debuting this week. Hilia Fights is coming to Fight Now TV, and we will be airing the promotion's first stop in the state of Louisiana live this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Fight Now. Switching gears, Saul Canelo Elvarez scored the unanimous decision win over Austin Trout to unify the 154-pound titles, and now he takes the next step in his rapid ascension. For a little insight on what's next for the young star, here's Fight Now TV's boxing analyst, James Smith. Oh, for Canelo Alvarez, uh, man, he is in a wonderful position. He certainly should be the top guy in the Floyd Mayweather sweepstakes if Mayweather is successful against Robert Guerrero May the 4th. And he's still only 22 years of age, a, a few months shy of his 23rd birthday. He had his first really big test. It was close, but he passed it. And Tyson Fury was successful in his U.S. debut, stopping Steve Cunningham in the seventh this past weekend. With the win, Kubrat Pulev is the only thing standing between Fury and a world title shot. Fury planting the seed by saying, quote, when Vladimir Klitschko fights me, I will knock him out just like Cunningham. Another busy Saturday ahead in boxing, Danny Garcia returns to Brooklyn to defend his titles against Zab Judah. Also, WBO middleweight champ Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen meets Fernando Guerrero. Over in Argentina, Sergio Martinez returns to take on undefeated British beast in Mer Martin Murray. And meanwhile, Luis Carlos Abregu meets Antonin de Carey on home turf. And across the pond in Sheffield, England, Amir Khan fights Julio Diaz in a 12-rounder. On the undercard, Deontay Wilder meets Audley Harrison in a heavyweight bout. Well, that will do it for this edition of News Hits. EFC Africa 19 is coming up next, as are every night a different fight feature. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook or check us out 24-7 on fightnow.com for all the late-breaking news in combat sports. Thanks for watching.
It is punk ass. And skyscraper tap out. And you're watching Fight Now TV. Yeah, punk ass.